Welcome to this presentation. I am Abhay Radha Krishnan, OpenShift Architect from Red Hat, and my colleague Santosh, OpenShift Architect from Red Hat. Hello, Santosh. Hey, Abhay. We will demonstrate how an existing IBM App Connect application can be rehosted on OpenShift with no code changes at all. You can check our earlier video in the link provided for details of an IBM App Connect application running on a virtual machine. Firstly, we will show how we can easily install an IBM App Connect integration engine, leveraging the operators on OpenShift. Then we will demonstrate how we can easily rehost an IBM App Connect application using the same bar file generated for the virtual machine into a containerized deployment on CloudPack on OpenShift. Then we will show how we can easily upgrade an IBM App Connect engine from one version to another. Now I welcome Santosh to start the demo. I have an existing OpenShift cluster installed on AWS. I'll go ahead and create a new project. I'll name it Demo App Connect. Using operators, installation of App Connect on OpenShift has been made much simpler. I'll select App Connect operator from the operator hub. I'll be installing version 1.3 of the operator. I'm selecting a slightly older version of the operator so that I can demonstrate the upgrading of the App Connect integration engine as well. I'm installing App Connect in a specific namespace instead of installing across a cluster. The installation should complete in probably a minute. The version 1.3 of the App Connect operator is installing the relevant parts. And now the App Connect operator installation has succeeded. I'll now talk about the JGRS IVT application, which Joel explained earlier. This is the GitHub repo where we have the relevant files for the JGRS IVT application. Under in this directory, we have the bar file related for, to the JGRS IVT application. We are not making any code changes. And in here, we have the Docker file. We are using IBM App Connect 11.0.0.11 R2 version as the base image. And then we are copying the bar file into the desired location and making few permission changes. That's it. Those are the only changes that are needed. And we'll go ahead and build this JGRS IVT application on OpenShift. I'll navigate to the project. Demo app connect. I'll go ahead and build the application on OpenShift. The build config and image streams have been created. I'll navigate to the web interface. Uh, in here, you have the builds. We can look at the build logs. The build is now complete. It has created an image. We'll now go ahead and create an instance of the App Connect integration server. We'll call it App Connect. App Connect server. We can call it App Connect server. We'll have to accept the license. There's a corresponding license related page on the IBM website. Uh, accordingly, I'm selecting the relevant license. As I'm installing this particular version 11.0.0.11 R2 version, I've selected it. And in the YAML view, I'm going ahead and creating a field called image and using the image that we have built. And that's it. This should create an instance of the App Connect integration server using the JGRS IVT application image that we have built. 
the integration server is, is now ready. You can go ahead and check the status over here as well. So we can view the topology view. Yeah, the route is now up. The endpoint for accessing the degrees IVD application is degrees IVD slash v1 slash hello. So we'll access the URL. It succeeded. We've got the message stating which particular version this is using and the pod name and timestamp. As explained by Joel, uh, based on the parameter that is provided, the decision is made and appropriate response is sent. So we can navigate to slash map or slash Java or slash SQL and find the relevant response. We'll now go ahead and upgrade the App Connect integration server. So all that is needed is you select the desired channel. We can probably go ahead and upgrade to the 1.4 version and click on save. I'll go ahead and build the JGrace IVT application using the newer image. So I'll go ahead and make the code change out here. I'll actually go ahead and get a new build. I'll call it the updated demo app connect. The build is now complete. I'll copy the name of the image that has been created. I'll create a new integration server just so that we can easily differentiate it. We'll accept the license again. I'll select the relevant license information. I've selected the desired channel and I'll add the name of the the integration server is now ready. We can navigate to the top all G view. And application is now up. As Joel explained earlier, the content driven routing can be tested as well based on the input decision is made. It is processed by Java node or map. This is working fine and just to highlight the upgrade of the app connect integration server this is the 11.0.0.12 version the earlier version if you see uh, over here it was version Eleven dot zero dot zero dot eleven version. So, in just a few minutes, we have 
demonstrated how easy it is to install IBM App Connect on OpenShift using an operator. We have taken an existing IBM App Connect application, JQ, JGrace IBT application. We have re-hosted it onto OpenShift without making any code changes. And we have also upgraded the App Connect integration engine. Thank you for watching.